We begin with two breaking stories. A 13-year-old and two 14-year-olds shot on Detroit's west side. And a man steals an ambulance from a firehouse and takes it for a wild ride down I-75. This is the aftermath of that crash. A $250,000 ambulance on its side, severely damaged. Let's get right out to Coco McAboy. She's at the firehouse near Eastern Market, where the garage door there is now in the street. All right, Coco, take us through what happened out there. Yes, so a man walked into the fire station here in Eastern Market, and then he jumped into an ambulance and drove through the fire station door on the far end. You can see that city crews are here now trying to fix that door. But here's the thing. The ambulance has a tracking device, so police were able to keep tabs of the suspects every move, and they caught up with him. Now check out this video. It shows the aftermath of what happened because the suspect crashed the ambulance. But First, he clipped another vehicle around 75 and the Davison. Then he got off of the freeway and flipped over. That's the video that you're looking at right now. Police took the man into custody immediately and the ambulance is in really bad shape. It's heavily damaged and it's a $250,000 ambulance because it has advanced life support equipment inside of it. We spoke with the assistant superintendent of EMS who really can't fathom why someone would do this. I was kind of shocked. I couldn't understand why somebody would want to take a, an ambulance and drive it through a door. It's troubling to see one of our trucks, uh, you know, go down uh, needlessly and stupidly. It affects, you know, the citizens. It impacts the operation. And the good news here is that there were no serious injuries, but that suspect will be facing charges. Back to you. As he should. Thank you, Coco.